let's present development system based on rank tiles. Spatial development model for the Berlin is based on four types of clusters. Each of these clusters contains a variety of land use types, but in different proportions. In order to achieve spatially varied land use, we can define the percentage and number of clusters throughout the whole country. However, what is the optimal arrangement of these defined clusters, and can we determine or predict it? The possibility is an additive growth generated on the basis of rank tile system. The group of investors decided to build a certain type of cluster, and its specific predefined variant based on relationships and connections to neighboring clusters. For example, individual housing cluster may not be adjacent with the cluster for storage and production. Thus, no edge of this cluster has the color cluster for production. By defining the edges of clusters, we can influence the inner functional connections without significant functional overdefining of the whole city. It is necessary to keep certain rules on the edges of the cluster because of connections with the others and securing quality and pleasant urban environment. The city is gradually expanding by each individual connected cluster. We can't say exactly how the city will look like. Everything is based on free people's decisions and determining the initial rules. Each selected cluster must meet prescribed regulations on land use. The ratio of public and private space and rate of build-up area. For example, cluster type city housing. Model based on defined rules and relationships between the various land use areas generates several variants of territory arrangement and is abstracted to a raster display. In this process the relationships to land use areas in adjacent clusters are also taken into account. Investors choose a such land use areas arrangement which suits them best. After then a design of general spatial regulations follows the master plan for a cluster. 